Hi, I'm Rolf Rassus. I'm a member of the Zencash core team and I wanted to give you an update today on where we are with the Zencash project and why we're launching this. So, to, first off, to get a little bit more information, talking about Zencash, main website's at Zencash.io and uh, if you see me on the Slack or forums, I go by the name of Block Ops. Okay, so a little bit of history. Most of y'all are familiar with Bitcoin, and Bitcoin's been around for over eight years now. And the Zcash project was started as a fork from Bitcoin and added an essential new feature. Whereas Bitcoin has um, transactions where you can see the identity, uh, well, at least the identity um, is recorded, of uh, the sender, the receiver, and the amount of Bitcoin that was sent, Zcash has the capability to have shielded transaction notes in addition to the regular transparent transactions that Bitcoin has. And in the shielded transactions, you're, you're only able to see on the blockchain that a transaction happens, not what it's, who its sender was, or where uh, it was sent to, or what the amount was. So that's, that's a big difference. Um, Zcash is, has a, a bunch of great scientists and engineers and they continue to develop and the more I learn about Zcash, the more I'm amazed and grateful to the project that they put together. Zclass, Zclassic is a fork of Zcash and it's a community project that's based off Zcash um, which makes two essential changes. First of all, uh, anybody in the con community is able to contribute and be part of it and there's been some really good developers and marketers and people that have come out of that. And there's no founders reward, so none of the mining reward gets redirected towards the founders. And there's also no slow start on mining. So from day one, I uh, started mining 12 and a half um, Zcash per block. Uh, so I am a Bitcoin and altcoin miner, and I got involved in the Z Classic community um, because I was first mining Zcash and then uh, Z Classic. And I started to get to know some of the folks um, at the Z Classic Rocket Chat and realized that there was a lot more that could be done with the Zcash technology. And that in order to do something like that, it would require continued um, development and improvement over time. And uh, Zcash is set up to do that for the first four years and then kind of go on its own. Z Classic doesn't really have any method to uh, contribute funds back to developers. And so we looked at doing a new cryptocurrency based upon a chain split off Z Classic, and I'll talk about that in a minute, that would add some essential elements. So Zencash is, first off, rewards no the secure nodes and the organization. So I'll talk about the specific split out about this, but in order to have a cryptocurrency in a blockchain, miners need to add to the blockchain. Um, but there needs to be a whole bunch of nodes, and these nodes be, need to be secure and reliable and capable of handling different types of transactions that wallets and other nodes connect to. And there should be an ongoing organization that can reward software developers and marketers and other folks in order to continually improve the, the coin over time. Um, taking the uh, messaging aspect of secure notes and expanding on that. So secure and anonymous messaging which then enables publishing as well. And I'll talk a little bit more about how that works. And then continued development. So by redirecting part of the minor awards to both a distributed autonomous organization as well as a core team, we can uh, get things done that we need to do without having to basically go beg for money, which is uh, what some of the uh, cryptocurrencies situations are in. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about the how the mining rewards are split up and then talk about the security anonymous publishing. Alright, so first let's talk about how we're launching. We're launching this May 23rd at about 10 p.m. We're doing this as a launch party in New York City uh, at concurrent with a consensus event, which is a big uh, blockchain uh, Bitcoin event. 
Uh, it's going to be done as a chain split with Z Classic. So all the people that have been working on Z Classic and developing it and things like that, they're going to continue to own their Z Classic. When the launch happens, we're going to split the chain. There's going to be two blockchains going forward. So obviously, miners are going to continue mining on the Z Classic blockchain, and then new miners um, are going to, or miners are going to shift uh, some of their mining uh, rigs over to Zencash and start that blockchain going. Um, However, since it's a chain split and not a new fork, anybody who owns Z Classic at the time of the chain split will be able to have the equivalent amount of Zen Cash going forward. So if you own a thousand Z Classics, um, then what you need to do in order to, in order to get your Zen Cash is export your Z Classic uh, private keys, you just export your Z Classic wallet, and then import it into your new Zen Cash wallet. And boom, all your uh, Zencash will show up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so it's not an initial coin offering. It's not a start with uh, nothing. It's starting with um, a whole bunch of coins already in place. And that way, we're able to get the support of the Z Classic community. We're immediately going to have uh, the ability to uh, trade on an exchange, and there'll be a much easier way to get a price set. I don't know if you all remember when Zcash first came out, and there was almost no uh, Zcash available, the price went really, really high on the exchange. We shouldn't have that issue with Zencash. Okay, so here's how we're changing things. Instead of 100% of the mining reward, going to the miners, 88% is going to go to the miners. And then 3.5% is going to go to the secure nodes. So these are nodes that are running the Zencash daemon on them and then meet some other requirements. I'll talk about secure nodes in a different video. Well, but hopefully we should be able to get a few thousand secure nodes uh, up and running. These are nodes that are going to be able to run fully encrypted communications between other nodes and also between nodes and wallets and then also have enough computing resources and memories to be able to create a shielded transaction, a Z transaction, which requires typically about five gigs of memory and a powerful processor and even though even with that it takes about a minute to create that transaction. So it's necessary. Within a governance standpoint um, we already have uh, two full-time employees. Those are the other uh, two members of the, the core team, Rob Viglioni and uh, Joshua uh, Yeba. And the uh, core team uh, Zen funding pays for those guys as well as other things that we're going to need to be doing um, in order to improve and market and continue the software development. Uh, the Distributed Autonomous Organization is not going to start out as an autonomous organization, but we're setting up a, a, a governance structure so that there'll be proposals and projects and voting and all sorts of different ways for the group of stakeholders to be able to manage and improve the coin going forward. So that's how we're changing the mining reward, and uh, this is shown to work well and with other cryptocurrencies. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the secure anonymous messaging and publishing aspect of Zencash, which is a very important part of it, just as important part of a secure and long-lived uh, crypto. Within the secure note portion of Zcash and Z Classic, also known as shielded transactions or Z transactions, there's a 512 byte field that can be used to send messages. If you go to your Zcash wallet or Z Classic, Z Classic wallet and you send a shielded transaction to somebody, you can actually include a message in that note and they'll receive it, which is pretty cool. Um, so it can be used for in band communication uh, using the blockchain itself so that there's no metadata. So if you're going to send money to somebody, it's not like you're going to do, okay, hey, I'm going to text you this. So you text them, I'm going to send you this money, you're going to uh, send me the stuff, right? 
whatever the stuff is, your deal, your services, um, whatever you want. And then you send them the, the Bitcoin and then they send back a text or an email saying they got it. All the stuff outside the Bitcoin or a Zcash transaction is metadata. So by including a messaging field that enables you to send messages person to person or Z address to Z address, um, within Zcash and Zclassic, it puts all that communication in the same band. So there's no um, metadata leaking outside the, the transaction. We think this is a really powerful feature of, secure, of uh, the secure notes. So within Zencash, it's going to be a 1024 byte field. And then furthermore, within the wallet, we're going to be able to not only send messages user to user, but also publish to a channel. So we're going to be able to take um, a, a word set like announcements or uh, hashtag announcements and create a shielded address based upon that and then you can monitor that address. So anybody that sends a very, very small shielded transaction with a message to that address, anybody who's monitoring that address will be able to get the message. And then furthermore, in conjunction with NewNet or uh, Interplanetary File System, if we, within that secure message field, publish a URL or a way to find the information uh, through these types of systems, all of a sudden we've turned Zencash into a secure, non-censorable publishing system using the power of the next ways of uh, publishing information on the internet. So, what can you do? Well, we need help. Come join us. Uh, go to our website. Come on to the Slack, which is um, already has lots of people on it, and you can come uh, communicate. We also have a, uh, I think, uh, a Telegram, so that you can join anonymously. And we've got this YouTube channel, and uh, we've got a blog. We've got a wiki. So, blog, wiki. And we're looking for people that are excited about what we're doing with Zencash, who are looking to not only be part of the next cryptocurrency that has a serious foundation behind it, really good developers, marketers, and users, but also is going to, upon launch, immediately have miners, exchange support, and all the other things that make for a real cryptocurrency that's going to thrive and do well. So if you're a software developer, we need help. We need people to do marketing, um, internet marketing, Twitter, YouTube, blog posts, uh, Steemit posts, all sorts of different things. Investors, you can buy Z Classic now, and you'll have it when, um, when Zencash launches. You can buy it afterwards. This is something that is going to be around for a while. I'm personally committed to being part of the team for quite a while, as are the other members, and we've already got a great group of people. I mean, the Z Classic. Uh, Rocket Chat already has 700 members on it, and many of those folks have come over to our Slack. Um, users, we're going to continue to work on developing wallets and all sorts of other things. So we've got a very substantial roadmap. Um, miners, the, the, the Z, primary Z Classic uh, developer of the open source mining software, Xenom, Josh, is the lead developer on Zen Cash, and so he knows a lot of different things about this type of stuff. We already have uh, support for at Bitrix for Z Classic and we've got verbal confirmation that they're going to support Zen Cash which is awesome and we're just looking for um, full confirmation that they're going to be able to support the chain split um, from Z Classic to Zen Cash uh, when it happens. So as soon as we get that information uh, we'll put it out officially. So again, this is Rolf Versus, part of the core team of Zencash. Uh, really appreciate you uh, looking and thinking about being part of the launch of our cryptocurrency. Thank you.